this is Michael Barron. I'm the Artistic Director for Lyric Theatre of Oklahoma. And I have the great honor of being here with Miss Cheetah Rivera, who's here all week long for her My Broadway show, performing at the Civic Center Music Hall. I started, uh, my career was called me Madam. I was Conchita del Rivero at that time. And, um, and I was one of the four principal dancers. And my very first show, Jerome Robbins choreographed it. And Pearl Mesta, and I'm in the hotel that her husband built. It's, and it's wonderful how things go in a circle, don't they? If you're lucky, and if you recognize it, you know. So I'm, I'm thrilled for those little dots that attach each other. And, um, but uh, Call Me Adam started it all. And, uh, and I understand you did it here. We did, we just did it. It was a great success. The audience is just loved it and something to dance about <laughs> yeah and we had, we had the spectacular dancing and the most i think surprising part is i think we all saw it and went why isn't the show done more often and you did sweet chat we did and you have a history both on stage and film with that right show. i i um i uh, i tell this story also in the show uh, about bobby when asking me to do the part of charity on the road and um and so i was out with it for a year ben free was in it Thelma Oliver, I mean, the entire original cast I took out. So it was thrilling, absolutely thrilling. And then I do a song from that from uh, Sweet Charity. I used to do a uh, Big Spender when I had all my gorgeous boys with me, but I, I don't have the boys. That's <laughs> just me, sorry, girls. But um, uh, yeah, so, and then when I was in Canada, um, the end of the tour, uh, Bobby called me, Posse called me, and said, would you like to do the movie? And I said, hey, yeah. But it was a part of Nikki. And I really, I mean, Helen Gallagher, you know, was fabulous in that role. And I, I was scared she was going to punch me out or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, you hate, you, you, you kind of go, ooh, um, you know, they're not going to do their role. They created a the film. But I quickly forgot it. Because <laughs> we just did the show, we tackled Fosse, and we do a lot of Fosse shows here, and he's not around anymore. Is there anything, you know, that you learned from him that you would impart as we carry on his legacy with, with just, you know, video record of, of what it is? Well, his style was like none other, you know. You recognize the Fosse style. Um, very, but it wasn't just limited to this. But um, that very sensual movement, very tiny movement, very precise and exact. Um, as a matter of fact, in the film, a beautiful girl was there in the shooting one day, and the next day she wasn't. And I said, where is she? And she we were supposed to look straight ahead on uh, Big Spender. Mm -hmm. And she just was kind of like all over the place. And she was so he had warned us all, and it was it's just that precise, you know, when he wants it that way. And then, you know, Tony Stevens, my wonderful, sweet, love Tony Stevens, who's not with us anymore, um, he was one of Bobby's assistants, was Chris Chadman. Um, he, I said to him, please tell Bobby to get me up off this chair. <laughs> just, I've got to get off this chair. I've got to move. I've got to fly. I got because in ballet school, I danced with the boys because I love to do the tours and the jumps and the blah, blah. And, um, and so he said, Bobby, get off the chair, please. And he did. And then I can't do it alone, uh, Bobby choreographed, where I was all over the place. So his style was, and then of course he did great tap numbers and all sorts of things, you know. So, Bobby's style is huge, but the th one that most people recognize is, is, is that very precise. It's very dark, um, tongue-in-cheek, uh, it loves females, makes them look good.